And welcome back to the round table. We are still asking Gamshu questions, probably. Were we done with him talking? I don't think so. And I'm here with we Marco, are. of course. That's, I mean, <laughs> yes. a given. That's a given. We were not entirely done with him. We are presenting evidence. Ah. Shall we simply jump right into it? Uh, did you catch that? Did I what catch? We jump right into it, you said. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Where's that? Sorry, Pep. I get no info for the likes of you. <laughs> I'm a goddamn lawyer. I was wondering, do you know anything about this? This statue? This the murder weapon? Huh? He thinks the clock is just a statue, too. I'm starting to wish I'd never seen this thing. <laughs> there was broken glass at the crime scene, right? Hmm? Who did? Seems like a glass stain next to the victim fell over. The glass shades with pieces of the broken stand. What? There's a stand user? Oh no. <laughs> well, a very in well, I guess a very efficient stand user. There was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Give it the condition of the writing. And it's hard to say if it's her hand writing or not. So there's no proof that Mia wrote it. I was wondering, did you see Maya Fey's cell phone? Oh, did I have it? Do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pair. Tricky liar. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Hmm, well, tell him straight or tell him not so straight? Hey, I'm straight. Um, I'm not so straight. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm... That's I'm, weird. <laughs> Forget I'm it. Tem I'm tempted to tell him not so straight simply so I can put a fabulous whirl on it. But at the same time, I've, I like to be a very honest person, oh, and I think Fe I think Phoenix would also be the honest type. Yeah, it's your call after all. Well, let's go with the character. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Same thing to Mary. Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nip, a new nipping pill. <laughs> That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all little, all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. <laughs> you trying to confuse me? Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in the memory. Impressive. You're quite a detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here, you can have the phone back. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> there weren't any suspicious car records in there after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Well, oh, that, that is weird easy. and fortunate. I have no idea what happened in that conversation. Holds the conversation between the chief and Maya. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You are Jim Pale? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait! Where am I thinking I wanted to mention to you? I didn't suppose you're planning on talking to the witness. Anyway, you better not. No influence in the witness with your lower the ways, pal. <laughs> Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything better. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So, you've sent her home already then? <laughs> you're trying your lowly tricks at me now. She's not to go inside her room until the tile. So, she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You get that right, pal? Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Wait, didn't you do that in your inner monologue and he said you got that right? 
Well, <laughs> I'm just. I think we're just going along with this very confusing character. Well, he's psychic too. He's yes. smarter than he lets on. <laughs> yes. He just I pretends no to be dumb. Yes, he's a he's a double agent. Let's see, present this. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. All right, all done here. <clears throat> Moving off to the Gatewater Hotel. Oh, and you can have a conversation with yourself again. <laughs> oh, you have a lot to say today. I mean, you could do her voice if you want. Nah, I have enough female voices for now. Well, enjoy then. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? Detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee <laughs> Memo to self. Thank Detective Gunshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It sounds so exciting I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful light witness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. <laughs> Mm, pity the fool. Well, the late summer sunlight streams through the window. I should be a poet. There's the Fayo Co Fay and Co Law Offices building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Right? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing? No touching! Oh, oh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms, you know. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought you was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. I wonder what could be inside here. Hmm. What's inside, I wonder? <laughs> Maybe later. Well. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers, are tu sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. I don't even know tulips. <laughs> oh no, I do know them. Yes, they're pretty easy. Ah, a still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a painting. <laughs> I'm a lawyer, not an artist. See. See, wait, something more. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. See, ah. you probably expected when you click the window that you actually click the glasses. And that in the DS version, you really need to be almost pixel perfect sometimes. Yep. It is, sir. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye catching here. Well then. Well, look. Now her we can talk to you. <laughs> standing there going all nyan nyan. Nyan nyan. <laughs> yeah, it's such a weird pose, isn't it? It's all part of the anime lifestyle to have a weird pose. Exactly, it's like one of my animes. Yes. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, better not encourage her. Uh -huh. so, or should I? Uh, you know that thing that occur um happened uh, the other day the the bad thing with the things and the thingy. What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please. Let me see. Well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Um, could you just who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No, uh, no. hey, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. 
So this is the cutest I've ever been. Um, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. <laughs> you had your little hopes up, didn't you? <laughs> oh boy. Well, this is a very productive conversation. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy, indeed. Well done. Off to the next bit. Do you know who I am? Show everyone your badge. I bet there's an achievement for that. Annoy everyone with your badge. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Police witness, you understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience? Hmm? Me, the witness? It's just like in the movies. Excuse me, but I'm the witness. A policeman, you understand? Yeah, it's the Compendre? same thing again. Compendre? Compadre? How could I possibly give you the information in good conscience? Alright, right. Well, we yeah, gotta try. There's sometimes a lot of repetition when you try that. Yeah, well, we gotta try them all, don't we? Just in case. Ah, I mean, hmm, I could tell you that the game doesn't progress if you didn't found and everything crucial. Well, as far as I check. remember, at least. But yeah, she doesn't tell you anything. Yeah, I Seems. suppose that's... Well, one last bit of examination, to be well, sure. Well, maybe, maybe Grossberg is back, or give Maya the phone? Or listen to the phone for yourself, maybe that works too. Oh, yeah. Let's see... And oh, they you. are. Mia, what's up? You haven't called a... Oh, yeah, that is the conversation we had in the opening. What's up? You haven't called in a while. Actually, there's something I want you to hold on for me. What it is this time? Looked the like claw. the thinker. Yeah, it's the exact same. It's the opening, basically, again. It's not working. That's lame. Had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. Put some papers inside instead. And those papers are evidence. One up to your imagination. See you tonight at nine. All right, plenty of information. And nothing has been unlocked here, no. Nope. No, she doesn't want to talk to you at all. She just want to play coy. Let's see. Hmm, seems like Mr. Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <laughs> if that wasn't... The most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Mm, ah, so you're the one they say has been looking for me? What a fabulous mustache. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm, the badge on your collar. Finally, somebody recognizes me. <laughs> ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? Nothing, nothing. You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya, Maya Faye. Uh, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. Hmm, why the strange reaction? Ah-cha-cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Um, uh, anyway. 
I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? <laughs> well then. <laughs> do, 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 do. He, he's got some funky character themes here. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? <laughs> well, you see, it's just I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. Wh what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Don't you my boy me. Why? I... I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I've nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? Well, let's continue discussion then. <laughs> How did you know Mia Fey? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. Oh. That's quite a painting. Aha, you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. Uh. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it, not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying, jeez. Well, he's proud. Uh, da, da, da. Present. Very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding this matter. But, God damn it! When is gonna be the day? Yeah, I I try to remember when this is actually interesting. <laughs> yeah, nothing to say right. to the matter. Yep, the same. On all of them, Probably. even this. Well, we will see. Just try it. Yep, the same. It starts the same way, so... So, do you have anything to say about this piece of blood? Nope. <laughs> nope, no piece of blood. Oh, it's the same again. And... The same again. No, I... Yeah. That seems that we're does. done here, then. Yep. Yeah. Back to the detention center, I guess? Yeah, we can give Maya the cell phone. Reporting. Hiya. Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. <laughs> what really happened? <sighs> you don't mean he refused to help? <clears throat> I see. I've been abandoned then. What? Oh, the music what? is so cool. It's sad. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know. So she could still be alive. The woman in my family... Woman or women? I'm not sure. Women. Really? 
Yes, oh, plural. yeah, because there's an E. Oh, okay. The women, women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual powers, spiritual power once in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Hmm. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, having a stand power with such a weird limitation. <laughs> All by yourself on that mountain. So, who was this man who um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow. So what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. <laughs> the police consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But... A man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became a laughingstock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Just a little longer now, before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? No, let's go right. home. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of this. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well... Uh... Okay. Yeah, well... No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know, I've been there a long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. <laughs> well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Phew, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what's next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Hmm. And what that something is, we will find out in the next episode. That is it for now. Hope you had fun until now. And see you then. Take care.